What is up, everybody? This is Hudson. Welcome to Oxygen Not Included. We are currently on the Occupational Upgrade. I don't know what that means. The last time I played this was like four or five upgrades ago, so there is so much content that I have no clue about. Uh, pressure is going to be on on this Let's Play. I'm going in completely blind into this. We're probably going to fail miserably. Um, the reason, one of the reasons that I wanted to play this game, first of all, is because I love it and I told everyone that I would come back to it. And there's been lots of, you know, you know reasons to come back, uh, aka all, all the upgrades. And uh, secondly, I am going on a large trip. And I, like I said, don't plan on editing any of these videos. So it's, it's going to be easier for me to crank out a bunch of these videos so that I can kind of like space them out while I am gone on my trip. Okay, let's uh, look at our duplicates that we have here to start off with. It seems like they changed it so that everybody has low expectations off the bat as far as decor goes and food quality. Food quality is a new one. Grizzly. I don't know what that means. Each duplicate has a minimum uh, quality of food they'll tolerate eating. Uh, desires tier minus one food or better. Become stressed when they eat meals of lower quality. Okay, I don't know what that means. Like I said, we're going in completely blind. I think all the attributes are roughly the same. Let's see here. Small bladder and germ resistant. Germs, the outbreak thing. I did not go into the outbreak thing. I don't know how they get sick and what to do about it. So <laughs> Digging, cooking, kindness, farming. Some of these actually kind of seem new, maybe. Kindness, I don't know what that is. Compound treatment speed and medical care speed. So I heard that you actually have to have people... Uh, not only do you have to have a du duplicate that's sick, but you have to have somebody that comes in and uh, does some caregiving. It just seems like there's so many things added in, you guys, that we're really going to be... It's just going to be all distraction, right? We're not actually going to be able to generate power because they're going to be too busy with, like, everybody that's sick. And then i got to take care of them. But then they got to also worry about this and this and that and washing their hands and the germs and the power and the... Just... It's going to be a shit show. I'm sure of it. I don't know about this guy. He's just plus one everything. I feel like I want somebody that's, like, not narcoleptic, first of all. Uh, somebody that really has a strength in something. And athletics, that's speed, right? Run speed. And that sounds pretty good. Plus two to all skills in the morning. Flatulence. They fart. As far as I remember, um, the, that, that sucks because then they just kind of like, pa like everybody pauses to say, Oh, Jesus, that was really bad. Construction seems really good, but minus three strength is really bad. Noodle arms. Iron gut, though. Um, I used to go through and I used to go until I find uh, found some people with like iron lung or was some, something like that where they could like uh, They use less oxygen up and that was a really big strength But I don't even know if that's a thing anymore eight creativity. I do want creativity, but let's see here cannot perform research Does research and creativity is there any overlap with that because then like bubbles could be our artist and what a perfect name for an artist as bubbles It's it's it was meant to be uh, plus three construction, plus three creativity, strength. Really good skills, actually. You're a good, uh, combination, but another yokel. We can't have three yokels. We can't do that. We need somebody to, to do some research here. So, let's definitely find somebody. Plus five farming, plus two cooking, narcoleptic. Diver's lung! That's the one! Diver's lung was, like, really good, but narcoleptic... I, I just, I don't want to mess around with it. I don't know how to deal with it. <laughs> so I'm gonna say no to it. Twinkle toes and small bladder, athletics, strength. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Like, uh, you could be... I was to say you could be our digger, but there actually is a specific dinking. Dinking. Digging skill. Tinkering, learning, kindness, small bladder. I really don't like small bladder, but quick learner sounds really good, actually. So, maybe you can be tinkerer. Uh, you could be maybe a researcher, right? To get the, the, the bigger and better stuff. And then let's go for maybe somebody with, like, a lot of construction and strength. Slow learner sounds really bad. Noodle arms, no. Caregiver, could have been good though. Um, oh, you know what? They have like interests. So like, if they are doing farming, they'll do it 50% faster. Maybe researcher and farmer. We, we want to find some sort of overlap here. Like this guy likes research, but he doesn't have the, the learning. So, we're going to spend most of our time here on the first episode just, just grabbing a bunch of people. Maybe I should just like randomly just close my eyes and just accept who I get. But, you know, it, I feel like it could be uh, life or death here. And another yokel with, with diver's lungs. Farming, learning, tinkering. Who do we really need? I said the construction and dig. Construction, dig. Pacifist. That's totally fine with me. Um, generally, I feel like most of the, the mobs you kind of want to save and not kill. But healing touch. 
Uh, plus three supply. What's that? What's the supply job? Is that just like power? Because that could be good constructions for. Yeah, you know, that's, uh, that's pretty good. I think we'll start there. Star Cross Colony. That's lame. Space Rock. Uh, yes. Okay. It's gonna be a shit show. I don't know what I'm doing. Already you guys are gonna be in the comment section saying, Oh my god, Huts, I cannot believe that you did this blah 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 blah. But, uh, here's the kicker. I'm gonna be gone on vacation. How do I pause it? Spacebar, there we go. I'm gonna be gone on vacation. Um, <laughs> you guys are gonna leave me all these notes about, like, what I need to do, what I should be doing, and I'm not gonna hear them because all of these episodes will be pre-recorded. Uh, at least for about a two-week period. So, yeah, uh, what was- what's the dig button again? Dig is G. We need to know that one probably by heart. Uh, a lot of algae, we have a hatch right away. Hatches will eat anything that's on the ground, which is bad. We don't really want to mess with that. Uh, a shine bug. You know, can we- uh, how do I go into my jobs now? This- this is all new. Oh, no combat. Nobody starts killing anything, okay? Do we have that clear? Bubbles. Art. You are our artist. I don't want anybody else drawing a damn thing. And, and, oh, you have a whole section for new duplicates, too, so they automatically can come in knowing what they're doing. But if I get another artist into the mix, and then that's going to be confusing. And Wow, okay. Um, supply. Nikola. What, who, who are you? Nikola Tesla? Nikolai? What was your thing? Stats. Can I, can I go over your, your stats again? Kindness. Construction, so you are kind of want you to be the digger But everyone needs to dig in the in the beginning and nails. I should have changed their names or the lame. I still can okay good I don't have any uh, good ideas right now, but maybe later on tinkering learning So you I want you to do research turn everybody off and research nails definitely research It kind of has like a red mark on what they're strong at so that's That's pretty good helps me out here toggle all errands for this person Okay, one errand for all people or all errands for one person. I like all of these different options. This sounds pretty cool. I don't know if there's anything that I really need to turn off um, for the time being. Job assignments. I don't uh, build a job board to unlock job assignments. I don't have one of those, so that's just not a big deal at all. What do we have? You guys, there's so much more stuff added in. Oh my god. Okay. What are we gonna do first? Uh, well, we need a place to poop, but we need a place, period. So we need to start digging. Worried about the hatch. I'm worried about the hatch, but as long as we stay above the hatch, but if I start digging this algae down, it's gonna drop down, the hatch is gonna go eat it and turn it into coal. Algae is, uh, as good as gold, uh, I'm pretty sure, in this game. So we make our way up to the hatch bug. We leave the oxalite, because that's just gonna start pumping out oxygen, at least early game. And, uh, that's not G. I probably, like, if I knew this game well enough, I would probably, like, change up some of these commands. Let's see here. What are we doing? I don't want to... No, I don't want to do that. So there are, uh, jobs down here in the lower right. I'm sorry if my face is over top of it. It's just gonna have to be the way that it is. I can kind of put my face right here in the middle, but that just seems weird. Face in the middle? Who does that? Nobody. Nobody in the world ever would ever do that. Base. Ladder. Raw mineral. We don't have any raw minerals just yet. Let's let them dig it out first. Uh, we got a lot of, let's see here, Bristle Blossom, Neil Woods, uh, Muck Root. There's another hatch, dude! Okay. We might have to kill the first hatch. We might have to do that. And I'm thinking that we probably should. Alright, so the, they'll start building, building the ladder out of the dirt that came down. Or sandstone, rather. How do you build a ladder out of that? I, I don't know. That's a good question. Um, uh, let's see here. What do we need to talk about? While we're doing this, um, I covered the fact that I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I did this before, and I actually got it to basically end game to like, we're never gonna die ever, but we probably would if we played it long enough. I just wasn't going to do that. I'm um, thinking. The hell do we do with the hatch? We could dig out underneath it and try to trap it. That could be something that we do immediately. Um, if we dig out under here and then go up from there and then dig him out and then try to build him in. Potentially, we have until nighttime. The nighttime becomes active. Yikes! I guess I'm going to go ahead and do that. But here, here's sand. Sand will fall. I don't think algae does fall. Yikes, dude! This is going to be a shit show. It's not going to be good. I don't think so. 
All right, Bubbles has nothing to do with the current uh, moment, so we should think about, you know, what if we trap the hatch down where we poop, right? And then we just let the poop sit there in a locker and he starts eating the contaminated dirt. Is there still contaminated dirt? I'm, I'm assuming that there is. I'm playing as if we are still uh, back in the days of the original. So maybe something that we should think about doing, this is a big carbon dioxide patch too, which is not good. I don't want that to start flowing in, but we need a, we need a poop chamber here. We need a poop chamber. And I think I'm just gonna like dig down like this. I just make it down here. Cause I don't want this gas to like come up and escape. Okay, I don't, yeah, I guess. There's a lot of things too that I, I once knew and now don't know. Good talk, right? Sweet talk, man. I do believe that these little cracks means that there's something buried there. If you guys don't know this game at all, feel free to go back to my old Let's Play, but I, we're basically starting new now. We should be pretty okay. Oh! Who are you and why are you attacking me? I did not know there was a, a buried hatch. Maybe the cracks can mean that there's a hatch in there too. Okay, so, um... What do we do about this? He's he's currently attacking Nicola, and I don't want Nicola to uh, be yeesh. detailed. What what can you tell me about that? He got attacked. Does that mean that he's currently not going to be so good? Today's stress. Yeah, I don't know. Is he gonna, is he going to still track him down, or is he going to give up? Looks like he might not give up. Looks like he might be like really pissed off. Are you going to continue to attack Bubbles? Like you're chill, right? I think that you're not supposed to be like super angry all the time. Yeah. You just kind of walk around and eat stuff. I don't think they're uh, essentially hostile, but if you dig them up, I do believe they become hostile. I wasn't all these wrong buttons here. Yeah, see, he doesn't care about Nickel anymore. And he's actually going to be down here into this hole. We were talking about trapping him. Oh, maybe not. Whoops, baby dot. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Goodness me. He just burrowed himself back in right here. Okay. We'll have to keep an eye on that little shithead. If we dig him up too much, he's gonna fall into the water and he's gonna drown to death. We do, we, we like them. We like the hatches because they're they're useful. They can be uh, turned into coal farms. Last I remember. We got a free muck right here. I don't want these tiles. We need some more storage. We have a ration box, but that's, that's about it. What do we do for that? Storage compactor. Is there a certain spot we need our storage compactors to be? I don't know. Whole oxygen uh, chamber up here, but there's a lot of water too that might flow in and we don't want to have to deal with that. Uh, take that up, please. We need a three high wall in order to make sure that this hatch will not get out. So let's maybe do that now. You know, we're on our way. What do we really need to focus on here? Well, living. Living uh, entails oxygen, but that's not uh, really something we have to worry about right now, especially with the oxalite. Water. Water is right beneath us. Uh, I do believe there's a new water pitch, pitcher pump. That thing. Bottle emptier? Empties bottled liquids back into the world. Okay. Interesting. Pitcher pump ma manually pumps liquid into bottles. For transport, duplicates can only carry bottled liquids. Okay, so that we could uh, bottle oh, emptier. <laughs> It's such a roundabout way to do it because, like, if it's a bottle, like, you can just tip it over, right? Or smash it or something. I don't know. But essentially, I'm going to pump it into a bottle. And then uh, if we wanted to pour that, like, this water and put it into this container, it looks like we'll have to do a bottle emptier over here. And then they can just continue to do that if we don't have pumps. But eventually, we're going to get pumps. We have a whole uh, research tab that we can't even access right now. I can't even look at it, which makes me a little bit nervous. What else do we have? Consumables. Oh, wow, look at this. You can tell who to eat what. Vitals, pretty okay. Stress, fullness, immune system. I, uh, yeah, okay. There's uh, a germs tab, yeah? Ventilation, no. What's, where would be our germs tab? Germ overlay. We don't have any germs yet. But over here, this is phosphorite. Looks like it's got tons of germs. Slime lung germs. There's uh, food poisoning and slime lung. Green is slime lung, yellow is food poisoning. I don't know where food poisoning is going to come from. Probably the, 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 the toilet. Um, there's a wash basin, I think. So we have to make them wash their hands after they're done pooing. Let's dig this guy out before it's my time, you guys. I'm not sure if I'm going to get you guys' beds up and running. Um, I would like to possibly dig up into this chamber up here. And yeah, 
Bluff Briar. I think that's just a plant that you can plant for uh, decoration. All right, all right. Like I said, I don't want to crack into this water source, at least not right now, because that's just going to flow right down into where we're trying to poo. And you know what? I could actually just crack this all the way down, and the water could flow right down into here. It's going to kill these, uh, these, these nice plants that are already planted. It's going to kill them off, and I don't necessarily want to do that. Um, we could try to capture this hatch, too. One, two, three down, and just put them in this little box until we would like to deal with them later. I'm, I don't know if they starve to death. I'm not sure if that's a thing, if they just continue to, to push on. All right, this guy said should drop. He dropped. Good. Now, with that, we go ahead and we tile it off. Maybe even tile it off down one more. We should probably tile underneath this whole thing, because I don't want more stuff to drop down into that container. You know, just kind of completely block him off. I'd like to mine this algae, but, you know, I'm talking about not destroying our plants, and it's all building on top of the algae. Not, you know, not super convenient for me. There's a lot of stuff down here that's not growing on algae, though. All right, so like I said, beds are going to be uh, a concern at this point in time. What else? I don't know. I'm probably doing a lot of stuff wrong. Like I said, you guys can be like, no, Huts, this is not how you do it. You're, you're, you're completely messing it up. It's already unbreathable down here, but hopefully that'll be balanced somewhat. So we have to worry about uh, like actual flow of liquids and gases. There's a lot of high level stuff that goes into this game, you guys, and that's kind of why I love it, because I feel like, you know, I, I did some of the stuff in school. Um, I feel like I can kind of flex my brain a little bit when I'm playing this game, but at the same time, it is a game. It doesn't work exactly the way that I know it. And uh, I'm gonna mess some things up. Eventually, I was trying to get to the point that eventually this oxygen, you can kind of see it's flowing. It is going to be going down into this uh, cavern here. It's gonna balance itself out, but uh, carbon dioxide is gonna eventually be building up because we exhale carbon dioxide. And that is heavier than oxygen, so that'll be going anywhere to the low parts of our base. Okay, so plumbing outhouse. Let's put an outhouse down here. What else? Down here is where you get to select, like, where you, uh, or what you want to build that out of. And here's a priority of saying, like, you need to build this outhouse now! Give it a nine! But yeah. Pitcher pump. I'm not pumped about this, this current, like, thing of water here. It, it's kind of inconvenient. The only convenient part about it is that it's so close to my base. So... We might try to I don't know. What do we what do we build that on, by the way? I don't know what we build that on. Do we build it on a thing? So we just drop it down into this area. That might be how we do it. We might go ahead and like ladder down a little bit more. And then um build some tile over like that. We gotta dig this up too so they can reach that. Totally guess it. No clue. Not even a little. Oh, that's gonna be good. We're gonna want, uh, medicine, right? Wash basin. We're gonna want them to wash their hands before they leave this area. So if I go ahead and build one of those. Can I afford that, by the way? Yeah, it's just a sandstone. This, uh, outhouse is something that they actually are going to have to, uh, empty out. So we put a storage compactor down there, but we don't want too many storage compactors. It's here. Colony management, du uh, duplicate movement, duplicate temperature. It's trying to tell me a bunch of stuff. Extreme environments that are hot or cold that will affect your du duplicate's internal body temperature. Sweet, bruh. Wait, this guy's super cold? They're cold. They're cold. Seems okay to me. I'm not sure why they would be, like, super cold. I don't know. This guy, I don't know what this guy is, the shine bug, but he's providing light, and light is actually good for, not farming, um, this guy, decor. Yeah, anything that's green is good, anything in the red is probably gonna make them stressed out over time. Oh, am I digging up that? I just did, I totally dug up that, uh, the dude, the dude guy, the hatch that was in there. Did he just start to attack somebody else? I don't know. I think the purple is their oxygen meter, so Nails is trying to... Catch your breath. Is Nails a guy or a girl? I don't know. Did you just assume Nails gender? You dick. You dick! 
I kind of want to get the stuff out of here before I dig that down because it's just going to drop right into the water. So let's build some storage compactors. I'm not, not exactly excited about building storage compactors right in the middle of our base because they are ugly. They are super ugly. So maybe instead of that, let's build like an area up here. And we can go ahead and put our storage compactors up in this area. Be like a good little storage compactor spot. I don't necessarily want them to have to climb up and down ladders every time that they need to get something. Um, and in fact, I'm thinking about going up one higher so that I can kind of flatten out this area up here and make it one long path. I can't really build this across. It would build over my printing pod. Printing pod um, every 1.9 cycles, every some amount of cycles, which are cycles a day, um, I'll be able to print a new duplicate. They'll be able to come out and I'll be able to choose between three of them. And... Uh, should be good. X is destruction. Deconstruct. How do I cancel? Cancel is C. Okay, so we want to dig one higher. I don't want to dig too close because water actually does build up pressure and it can crack through. So you know what? Maybe I'm going to cancel over here. It's going to be too far. And then build the tile there instead. Continue off that ladder. Okay, good. I don't want to go too fast right now because um, this game's going to uh, catch me by surprise. Big time. I'm sure of it. Fetching water, tip. Colony requires a food source. I know it does require a food source. We have a microbe musher. It creates these little, uh, what is it? I don't know what they're called. Chunks of poop. Chunks of poop food. And it's not that good, but. This thing, I would like filtration medium. What's that? Sand. Organic. Seed agriculture. Raw minerals. I want to make this so that it only stores uh, contaminated dirt. And I don't know where that's going to be. And I don't think that we can even select it until it actually appears on the map. So we'll just wait on that. Uh, wash basin. You can set a direction. Set a direction to uh, wash only when passing from left to right. Select to make duplicates wash. Yes, this one. So now if they're going to pass beyond this point, beyond this wash basin, they have to wash their hands every single time. So they're going to poop. They're going to get their hands full of uh, germs. I'm assuming the food poisoning germs? It's here. I don't know what that little yellow thing is. I'm, I'm assuming it means it's going to generate yellow germs. Um, they got to wash their hands before they get through so they don't spread the food poisoning germs. I think that's the right way to do it. And we got some people that are just kind of sitting there doing nothing. Eek. What should we do? We, uh, we have a lot of the day left. Let's go ahead. There's a disinfect option. This is interesting. Okay, so if germs get out of control. We should build some cots, I think. Maybe. Possibly. Probably? Yeah. I'm thinking so. Um, let's get these guys to just start building storage compactors. Without me needing to babysit. Uh, we could actually maybe continue the tile over this way, like we were talking about. Maybe not there. We want kind of some open areas here for the air to just kind of flow through. Maybe that's not... Maybe I'm, I'm worrying too much about that, but... Leave that out, would you? Got some uh, mealwoods that are ready to be harvested. On the top and the bottom. And I would like to get up there and down there in order to get those. But there's lots of hatches everywhere. Maybe we should just end up killing the hatches. I just remember that uh, when I played last, it was like... I didn't want to do that. There was a hatch over here. and Maybe he fell into the water already and drowned. I don't see him. Hatch in there. You can't burrow in the tile. I think that they're, they sit in the tile for too long. They just die. Alright. We're going. I can pick up the speed if I would like. Not with that button. How do I uh, pick up the speed? Tab. Very satisfying sounds in this game. So, when we start to see these white or these lighter colored cracks appearing... That means that the pressure is going to get to it. It's going to break soon. Uh, it, they appear when you're digging, as you can see right there. But if we see them... Oh, no! That's sand right there. Right. Right. Sand is going to be an issue. Definitely going to have to build some tile up to hold that up. I think the tile can withstand a lot more pressure than, say, algae. Oh, yuck. Select these on all. You can accept everything. And I did want to sweep this area up before we start digging that out to put a, a water thing in there. 
Should we be concerned about food more than we should be about water at this point in time? I, they don't need to drink water as far as I know. Last I played, it was just food. So we're going to need a food station somewhere. Fertilizer. Maybe I should have dug that out. Cycle's over! Oh, you know what? The cycle goes the, uh, the other way than I thought it would. So we were actually close to the end of the day, not towards the, the beginning of the day. Not much to do right now, besides, uh, let her go. The hatch in this area must have died. I don't see him at all. Hatch over here is uh, completely cock-blocked. Which works for me. These plants look like they are uh, drowning. More water seems to be added in. Where did that water come from? I have no idea. How much oxalite is left in these things? 137 grams and, and slowly decreasing. Looks like there's a lot left, so there should be a lot of breathable oxygen for the time being. All right, Nicola, the first pooper. Show me what you got with those germs. Yeah, he's covered. You're supposed to wash your hands. I, you need to fill it up with water first. Uh, that's bad news. That's the opposite of good news. That'd be bad news. You're disgusting, Nicola. You need help. That's gross. Please, sweep those up. You know what, sweep nine. Like, get on that. You can eat, yeah, you can go ahead and eat, that's fine. Didn't really wanna break into my rations immediately, but it's too late. All right, is there enough um, gross dirt that I can, yes. I can now select only polluted dirt there. I should go up to these things and say, please, no polluted dirt. Keep it down there, because last I checked, if you have them in a storage container, the uh, storage containers will start emitting polluted oxygen. And we want to contain that. That's what this area is for. The containment of. And there's some sand that dropped down there, too. Alright. They can jump up, too, I think. Yes, they can. We'll sweep that up. We'll clear this area. We'll get a water pump. They will start giving uh, water to the wash basin so that when everyone starts shitting all over the place, they will no longer be covered in germs. Better hurry up, dudes. You got some food in there, too, so I think we're totally good on food. I really do think we are. Can you, dug, can you dig that up? No, it's not even buried. It looks like it's somewhat buried compared to this one. I thought it was, maybe it was planted. We should probably dig up this right here. The bristle blossom's not even doing it. It's not even gonna survive. Mealwood is growing, though. And the muckrit doesn't do anything. I don't think you just pick it once and it's, it's done. Just like these guys. Dang, they can't care like anything at all. They keep sucking stuff up and it's not disappearing because the piles are so big. Oh my god! How much sandstone is in there, man? The oxalite! Remember I said it was so much left of it? And now all of a sudden it's like, poof, gone. The two pieces that I was actually looking at were the ones that had the most oxygen in it. <laughs> the rest of them had nothing. Oh, that made me, made me worried like I was doing something wrong. Alright, 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 alright. How many uh, days left? 1.2 until we can uh, print the duplicate. You don't always want to uh, print duplicates off because the more people you have, the more people you have to take care of. At some point in time, you have too many people to uh, balance properly. Germs are an invisible peril that cause disease in your duplicates. The germ overlay allows you to view all germ concentrations in your colony. Okay, wash basins can be built in dirty areas to keep uh, from the medicine tab to tell your duplicates where to wash up. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Let their immunity do the rest. I'm assuming that uh, their immunity is generally, eventually, just going to uh, decrease and decrease. Alright, we need to actually pick up those mock roots, you guys. That was actually sweep nine. Can you not put those mock roots in the uh, ration box? Cooking ingredient, pinch of pepper nut. There. Please accept all forms of food. Somebody go pick those up. Thank you. A lot of little, like, minor, tiny little details that the first time you guys pick this up, you're gonna fail miserably. You are going to fail miserably. Um, but... I think I've done, um... I, I've played it enough the first time that I should at least be able to survive for a little bit, but something's gonna come up where it's like, You didn't know about the super dupe gas? 
Yeah, it's gonna totally kill you, man. Gosh, cringe. Watching Huts play, didn't know about the super dupe gas. What an idiot. What a piece of sh idiot. Okay, let's do that up, you guys. Let's get to it. Like I said, I really don't know where to put the, the pitcher pump. Does that, does that float? Let's put it like here. I don't know. Let's try it. Can I make this hose longer, please? Could we do that? You guys chopped yourselves over there. Nice. Well done. I can walk across that. I think this is good. I think this is good. I think this is pretty good. Somebody's got to deliver some water. Pump it, please. Nails, you're on it. Boom. Now they have to wash their hands. Nicola, you need to, like, you need to wash your hands now. How do I make him do that? Move to... Maybe just like, if I have him move past this area, when he comes back, he'll have to wash his hands. Are you still like covered in germs? You're, you're putting germs everywhere! Also, the storage compactor just apparently just has germs. And that's just because Nickel has been making a mess out of it. Yeah, he's washing his hands, good. Good, dude. That's what I wanted you to do. Now, it's, it's gonna be kind of a pain in the ass, because every time they walk over here to pick up like the sandstone and, then, and the stuff over here, they have to wash their hands. It's just gonna take them longer to do that, but... I don't wanna like... Disable the wash basin to then have to re-enable it later and forget about it. Because I will forget about it. There's just so many things. It's, just, it's micromanaging central right here. Can I like copy and paste certain like automatic storage things? Copy settings. Oh my god, thank you so much. Oh, I love that. The, that was one of my complaints in the first game because you have to go through every single time you make a storage compactor and you gotta make a lot of them. You had to go through and go, oh, I'm gonna like, oh, where's that thing again? Oh, yeah, pollute dirt, please turn that off. And then if you forget, they start just loading it up with pollute dirt. And like three years later, you're like, why is everybody dying? Oh, oh, because I'm an idiot. All right, we're doing okay. The bristle blossom is trying. It's like, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. Maybe it will eventually be full grown, but... How do we grow that, uh, naturally? Medicine, furniture, stations, oxygen-based, power, food, probably. Planter box has got to be it. Requires basic farming research. We need to get some research then. Furniture, we don't have the cots yet. So much to balance. Let's make some cots. Right now. We have water. We... Don't have food yet. Maybe sleeping area before food. Like that. And then I want you guys to tile it over. And then, and only then, start. Ooh, that, like make me nervous with this though. You know, there's no water up here, so if this breaks through, it doesn't matter. Good call. Furniture. Cot. 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 And uh, like I said, let's make some, let's make a wide area for air to flow freely. You don't want them to suffocate with carbon dioxide when they're sleeping. Okay, you can sleep there too. They're, you're sleeping while you're hanging on to the ladder. Impressive. You know, you literally could have just moved like, I don't know, a foot over and you would have been just fine. But if that's really what you want to do, I wonder if that uh, messes with their stress levels. Do I see any grimy? Okay. Needs a shower. New hope. Minus stress because they're, because it's a new game. That's nice that they do that. They don't have a job assignment because I don't have a jobs board. Because I don't know even what a jobs board is. Oxygen. Let's just go through the tabs right now to see, like, what is it that we really need to figure out how to use. Uh, the doors, not that important right now. Algae deoxidizer. That's going to be probably our first source of oxygen generation. Terrariums, also super good, but holy cow, do they use up your algae and your water. Or they did, at least. Power, we're gonna need to make some manual generators and some tiny batteries at some point in time when we uh, power up our research center to actually start getting uh, more stuff. Microbe musher, we're gonna need one of those. That generates a lot of heat. Uh, so we'll have to figure out where we want to put our microbe musher to start pumping out the food. And I do believe it's... Uh, 
takes in raw, no, missing resources just to build it. It takes in sandstone, I think. It takes in just like dirt and stuff. It's dirt, sand, sandstone, something like that. And it turns it into some sort of food that is really low quality, which it will eventually start stressing our dupes out. Uh, planter boxes would be nice, but we can't get that yet. Ventilation, we can't do anything with that. Refinement, compost, polluted dirt into fertilizer so that we can put that into our mealwood plants and stuff like that that we're going to eventually end up growing. That'd be a good idea. Uh, we once again need farming research. That might be the first thing we go for. Medicine, wash basin check, med bed. Uh, if they get really sick, well, like I said, one person's going to be sick in the bed and then the other person has to take care of them, which just sounds like I don't know how we're going to do that. Memorial, really hope we don't need one of those soon. Cot, massage table, that's if they're too stressed. Flower pot, no, to make it look nice. Ice block, no idea. Increases decor and reduces stress. Must be sculpted by a duplicate. Um, ice block, really? That would just melt immediately. Research station, we need it. Jobs board, there we go. Utilities, automation, and shipping. Shipping? I don't even know anymore, you guys. This is where I'm going to end today's episode. We, you know, we're off to a start, I would say. Is it a good start? I don't know this update well enough to know if this is a good start or not. I'm probably messing something up. Do go ahead and let me know what you guys think about this. I'm not going to be able to read these um, for the next couple of episodes because I'm going to be gone. So, like I said, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. See you guys.